So this is a musical instrument that I found a few years ago and someone was just throwing it out and I you know I got really curious and decided to bring it home and check it out and see how it worked exactly. Uh, so what it is, it's called an organ air and I've done a little bit of research on organ airs online and there really isn't a whole lot of information about them. Um, I have no idea how old this thing is um, but I'm imagining it's probably from you know the 60s or the 70s. Uh, basically it kind of works pretty similar to how my melodic works um, I imagine. I, I haven't taken this apart yet so I'm not exactly sure um, how it works but I imagine it works pretty similar to how a melodica uh, which basically has inside it brass reeds like a harmonica has and by pressing down on various different one of these buttons uh, you're redirecting the airflow uh, to go over only certain reeds um, of the instrument and uh, the way that this instrument does is it has a fan inside of it uh, which you can turn on and it blows the air through and into those various different reeds this is the melodica that I was describing as I said it's kind of similar in that it has like a keyboard type of interface where you push down on basically valves which open up you know air chambers but instead on the melodica you have to blow through it yourself to make it operate this is how the melodica operates when I when I blow into it nothing happens until I press down on one of the buttons here and similarly if I turn the organ air on by turning this little knob here a little light comes on you can kind of hear a fan inside which is getting just getting started up and then when I push down on the various different keys and to give you a sound comparison here's the melodica and the organ air so they're very similar sounding in addition to having the normal keyboard interface which is over here it also has this neat chord box thing over on this side and when I push down on the white buttons and the black buttons what I'm forming is full chords so instead of just you know pressing one note here what it does is it makes the full C chord which is you know something like that so you can simply with your left hand you can just kind of you know alternate between the chords in the song and then with your right hand you can play the melody. So when I first found this organ air about three years ago I thought it was really cool and I was really excited uh, to use it in one of my musical recordings for example in one of my CJ Hoyle music videos um, and I have tried to use it a few times but every time I try there's some major issues with this instrument that they just hold me back from, from using the tracks that I record on it. So one of the major things is that a lot of the notes on here are out of tune now uh, for example, if I press this G and this other G up here at the same time, you know, those should be the same note, or should be an, this one should be an octave higher than that one. But it sounds very dissonant because, you know, one of these reeds is definitely out of tune. It's, it's probably this one up here. Another issue is that when you press down on the buttons, the buttons themselves are actually pretty noisy, so you get a lot of clicking and clacking sort of sounds that happen uh, when you're playing this instrument. And another feature that the organ air has, it has this little knob down here, uh, which basically acts like a volume control. Uh, you know, when you're pressing the buttons down, that's fairly loud there, but if we turn this um, over here, you can hear that the fan gets a little bit louder because we're uh, releasing a little bit of an air through a hole. Basically this opens up a little hole in the side where a little bit of extra air comes out. So when you press down the buttons here, it's definitely quieter than this. So since I've had this instrument for almost three years now and really haven't been able to make use of it, I think I can justify taking it apart and dismantling it uh, just so I can see how it works on the inside. Um, and there's a few things off of that I'd like to harvest uh, for future projects. This is what it looks like on the bottom. Um, basically this is the end where the fan is. So that's a blower there. And uh, part of the reason I want to take this apart is I want to hopefully use this blower from in there so I can use it for another project that I would like to build. Um, so basically it looks like that the air, this is a big air chamber, all this plastic part here. And uh, the volume control that I was talking about is actually right here. So if I, this is the knob right there that you turn and when you turn it 
Uh, there's a hole which is right in there which you probably can't see very well but it's a hole which is in this plastic here that gets exposed when you move this paddle out of the way. So I'm going to start off by uh, unplugging the cord and then I'm going to take off all of these metal angle brackets and then hopefully I'll, it'll expose it so I'll be able to take out all the screws for this plastic piece here and we'll be able to take a look inside. So as I'm taking these off, I was noticing that there's this nice big threaded hole there in the middle and kind of this, you know, circle here where the material's kind of been brushed away. And what I'm imagining is that when you bought this device brand new, um, it probably came with some legs that went on here uh, so that you could basically have, basically so it had its own table or its own stand so you didn't need to put it on top of something else. Um, it also has these little plastic feet, which were so you could probably put it on your, your kitchen table or something like that. Uh, but you could also, you know, put it in your house like a piece of furniture. Alright, I got all the corners off now, and I think I actually have to take off this little wooden piece down here as well. It's kind of a funny little piece there. It doesn't really look like it's original, but it has the same kind of screws as everywhere else, so I guess it is original. Actually, by taking that piece over there off, as well as this other one here, which is on the other side, I think I'm actually able to lift this whole thing out of the wooden box there. So let's give that a try. This thing seems to just lift right out of there. Wow. <laughs> so it looks like this is the actual guts of the machine, and that wooden part over there was really just a way of, you know, all packaging it together. Um, but this is pretty much the whole thing. I bet I could plug it in right now and it would still work the same way it did before. Um, it's definitely very dusty that I've taken that cover off. Uh, so I'm just going to vacuum up some of that dust so I don't spread it all over my apartment. So I'll just give you a closer look of what the inside looks like. So here's where the motor is that turns the fan. It looks like it's probably got some kind of a transformer which is on there as well. Uh, this is where the wire comes in uh, from the wall, from the wall outlet. And it looks like Someone's done something to this because there's electrical tape and morettes wrapped all around the wires. Uh, it doesn't really look like that was done in the factory when it was first made, I don't imagine. So maybe at one point uh, the cord for this needed to be replaced by somebody. This gray cord comes over here to where the switch is, I imagine. So by turning the switch, that turns the instrument on and off. And then over here where the keys are, so the keys are actually quite long. They extend all the way out to here. And uh, there's this bar here which supports a bunch of springs which are what hold the keys, you know, so they spring back up when you press them down. The spring pushes on here and basically it's a lever mechanism that's pivoting there in the middle. And uh, this spring keeps it to this end of the, the uh, lever is always pushed down except when, you know, a load is placed on that end over there. So you can see if I lift one of these up, underneath there there's a hole, or it's actually a long little slit, uh, which basically I'm, I'm imagining that by lifting this up, what you're doing is you're allowing airflow to come through here, and uh, by airflow going through this part here, I'm imagining that there's a reed which is underneath there, uh, which is associated with you know this note right here, and uh, so by letting the air flow through this hole here, you're allowing air to flow um, over that reed and you're going to make it vibrate and play that note. And the same thing happens over here at the cords as well, so if I lift this up here, uh, again there's a spring which is right here, uh, so by pushing it on the button, that lifts this up and uh, there's a hole, I can't really see it, but um, there's definitely a hole which is inside there which uh, lets airflow flow through there. There's probably um, maybe three or four reeds which are under here which are associated with this cord here. And then for the black keys which are down here, which are for the minor chords, um, I think that you know underneath this sign here, uh, there's the same thing that's, that's happening up here, down there as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is take out these two screws and hopefully be able to remove this cover here, uh, so I'll be able to see what it looks like underneath there. So there's the cover off, and just as I suspected, the black keys work the same way as the white keys um, down here. And uh, right now they're, they're very floppy because they don't have anything to push up against the springs here. Uh, both the black and the white just have their springs exposed now because uh, they worked by pushing up against the bottom of the cover there. So it's really neat you can actually take these things right off and you can look at how they work on the inside here. 
So these are actually really neat. Basically the way that it works is you've got this surface here seals to the bottom here and there's air being pushed up through these holes uh, but there's no place for the air to get out. So when all the buttons are not pushed down then you've got air which is just basically high pressure inside of there and then when you push down on one of these buttons what you're doing is you're releasing it and you're allowing a place for the air to go so with this open here then all of the airflow that was in there starts to come out of that hole there and by doing so as it's flowing through there it brushes it up against those plastic reeds there um, and makes them vibrate up and down as it's flowing through uh, originally I had thought that the reeds were made out of brass I had just assumed uh, but they're actually made out of plastic so they're actually you know probably quite a bit more durable than uh, than brass and they actually sounded you know pretty good and the white ones work the same as the black ones they come off and you actually see they're kind of a little bit gummed up um, I'm not really sure what that stuff is but I'm sure it's just some kind of dust that's uh, probably been coming through that hole there and that's why it's a little bit of a line that's on there so I'm gonna see what these keys look like here so I'm gonna take off this bar on the top here and we'll see what it looks like inside so after taking that bar off here then of course all the tension that was on these springs is released and it lifts up all of these ends here and uh, means that I can pull this little thing out here uh, which is actually just really similar to the one uh, that we had over there um, it just basically there's all these holes that are normally plugged when the keys are getting pushed down by the springs and then if I flip it over um, you've got the same idea with a whole bunch of reeds which are along there and of course all the reeds are different lengths and different thicknesses uh, which vary the various different pitches that each note makes and again the air which goes through those reeds originally comes out of these two long slits which are down here so now for taking all these keys off uh, they're all pivoting across the center rod which goes along here which I've realized that I'm able to pull out so as I pull it out all of the different keys are getting pulled out as well and there's all of them so the keys themselves are actually quite simple there's this part over here which is where you press on so there's a big you know flat surface that you can press down on and uh, just very long it sticks out all the way to here with a little hole in the middle which is where that pivot goes and then there's a spring on this end which is what's pushing down on this flat section here which is what's pushing down on uh, you know this surface here um, for each one of the reeds amazing how much dust is accumulated inside there there's these big huge just clumps of dust balls in there so that's basically the whole thing taken apart with the exception of the blower which is on the bottom there and basically what it does is there's the fan that's in here and it's sucking air through that hole which is in the back and then it's sending air through each one of these different slits in the front of the big chamber there so now I'm going to see what it looks like inside of here so I'm going to take off all of these screws and remove this cover and we'll see what it looks like inside there all right so I think I've got all those screws out now let's pull this off and see what it looks like inside so the blower part of it's actually quite simple um, basically this this middle part here spins it's connected up with the motor and as it's spinning it's sucking air uh, through the middle here which is normally just only a little hole is exposed only normally this little middle hole here is exposed the rest of its uh, completely covered off and so it's sucking air through here which then goes through this through the middle here and then it gets basically shot out you know all around the sides there and then this whole you know chamber here is just full of high pressure air and uh, the air is able to go through here but it can't go very much further through here uh, because those reed plate things are are blocked off by the keys uh, so then when the key gets released then air you know this high pressure air is able to get out through this hole and go through the reeds that um, correspond to the buttons which have been pressed down on so anyway it's a pretty neat musical instrument it's pretty neat uh, that just by sending some air through these uh, little plastic little mold things uh, you're able to make you know musical sound 
So anyway, that concludes this video showing uh, the taking apart of my old organ air. Uh, as you can see, there are quite a few pieces which go into assembling one of these, and I'm pretty sure I can put it all back together again and uh, make it work again, but I'm not really sure that I want to because I really wasn't very happy with this instrument and I kind of just get, want to get rid of it. Uh, but I would like to use the blower from it, so maybe I'll save that and use it in a future project. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.